My name is Rich Walker and I'm a director at Shadow Robot. So the Shadow Hand collects a lot of data. I mean, one of the nice things about robots is they really are an incredible source of lots and lots of data. We have a sensor on each joint that measures the angle of the joint. We have then two tendons on each joint that go back to the motors and we measure the, the load on each of those two tendons. We report data about the PWM going into the motors and we report data on things like the, the target values going to the, the control functions. So you really get a lot of insight into what's happening. And of course, because we use these for control, this data comes out at at least one kilohertz, so there's lots and lots of it. Shadowhand runs on ROS, so all of the data is streamed to ROS nodes and therefore can be easily put into ROS bags, either on the native container or streamed to another machine. We've seen people use the data that comes out of the shadow hand for a really wide variety of purposes. Everything from feeding into deep learning systems, trying to model joint motion behavior, to trying to do reconstructions, to verify the quality of simulations. It's a wealth of data and it really gives you a deep understanding of what's going on with the robot. We've seen a lot of interesting research using our data. Some of it we're still waiting for them to publish their papers on, good luck to them. Others we've seen some really impressive results, for example, building control systems, looking at how you can analyze touch and interaction, work out what humans are doing when they do movements and actions.